Welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to download bathymetric data from Chipko. So once you have opened your browser, just type in GEBCO and just give enter. And you can see here Chipko, the general bathymetric chart of oceans. So this is a website from where we are going to download our bathymetric data. So it is uh, freely available. You can just uh, click on this link then you can find two options download jepco global grid and uh, download polar grids so you have to select the option download uh, jepco global grid so once you have selected it you can see the specification of this data so it has been greater bathymetric data sets the jepco grid and it's a global terrain model for ocean and land as well providing the elevation in meters okay and it is being given at a resolution of 15 arc seconds 15 arc second interval grids that might be around uh, 450 uh, meters something like that so in order to download it you can just uh, go to the option download data for user uh, defined areas just click here and you can see here choose our application just click on the application so that they will be going to the application page for downloading the data sets so now I have uh, gone, to, gone to the applications now we need to select the region which we are interested in so for that we need to use the control plus mouse left key and drag a box to select our region of interest okay so for example I need this region just click control and left click on the mouse so now our data has been selected you can see it you can see the extent which has been selected okay and the next thing is that we need to go to the format so I am going to go with the geotiff and it is in a grid format so just select it and come down here you can see the uh, extension north latitude uh, west south and east ok and you can see the file size here so now we have to add to the basket once we have added to the basket we can just download it so just select view basket and we can see the data here now we need to just download the data so it has been uh, started preparing and it will be automatically downloaded you can just check here it's been uh, started downloaded so the download has been completed so we just click on and go to the folder where it has been uh, downloaded and we need to extract the file here so I have extracted the file so just open the ArcGIS in order to view it so we need to just add the data here so you can see here they are given with the, uh, the extension of the data that is uh, in north how, what, what is the degree in south what is the degree west what is the degree and east in what is the degree uh, we need to just add the data here and it is asking us to create pyramid so I am going to go with S so you can see here so what we have downloaded or what we have selected has been downloaded successfully so I just show you to you in the you can see here this is what the region I have selected and you can see it here so we can just uh, see here so the highest value is around 3786 so that is in meters so you can see the land regions so that has been the having the elevation 3786 and the lowest is minus 9599 so that is specifies the sea flow okay so be, uh, because that is being given in the uh, negative integer 
now you just go and open the properties of the image you can see here so this is a tip and it's a sign integer of a 16 bit and which is having the uh, spatial reference WGS84 and you can also change the symbology here so like as you can see here I have changed the symbology here you can just select the uh, correct color schematics so you can see here so we have successfully downloaded the bathymetric data you can uh, share your uh, feedback here so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching goodbye